What's that, Pinky? Welcome back to another episode of the Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. Okay, I ran Hood Checker one more time. I backed up the game one more time. I'm making a mental note at the beginning of the episode that I we save now. I can't believe I've I've lost sight of everything that's important in this series. The fact, you know, on, this channel runs on honesty. The fact that we we save now. I don't know how I've forgotten all of the the principles, the foundation, the principles that are the foundation of this channel. Uh, so I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> I think today we're going to redeem myself. Couldn't help but notice when we were like coming into Belladonna Cove here, there was something on this billboard here. Slop, slop, oh, elo, slow day. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, one thing I have no regrets about from last episode uh, is fucking lasagna's look. Oh my god, she is slaying. She's killing it right now. I like, I like Jesse's look too. I feel like maybe we should, maybe we should let Jesse kick it up a notch, but. Uh, because lasagna is kind of stealing the show. All right, everybody. Hello, <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of our Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. I've taken some time to heal from another, yet another heart-wrenching game crash where we lost some progress. We now have a second alternate timeline in our Sims 2 Astro Legacy multiverse, the uh, Cara Pistachio Redemption timeline, the Kara almost made it timeline. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to try to make some progress. Kara Pistachio becomes an elder in four days. So we essentially have four days to see if the random generating gods of the Simiverse will give us, give Kara the opportunity to get back into the political career, or if we're going to have to just finally let this disgraced mayor find a different path in life as she approaches elderhood rapidly. Um, other than that, in today's episode, I think that we will still be trying to get Amber to the top of her career ladder. I'm gonna pray that this family finally gets cured of their flu. That was something else we lost in the great crash of episode 63, I wanna say. Um, so we'll have to hope that that will happen again. Uh, but yeah, we'll try to get Amber to the top of her career track. I was also contemplating this episode, perhaps visiting Grizabella Grounds, um, maybe making over the cemetery a little bit. I was thinking of taking the portraits out to Grizabella Grounds uh, and adding those to the graveyard to go with their graves. I thought that might be cool, um, especially as we're running out of room to display everything in the house proper. So we'll just see what happens. Let's take it day by day. I will say that we've definitely got a countdown of four days until Kara turns elder and her dreams of re-entering the political sphere will be dashed. Because there's a lot that can happen. And you know what I'm going to do all, all along the way this time? Because I've learned from my mistakes. That's save. I'm going to save often. So you're not going to catch me doing that bullshit again. And I'm so sorry again that I allowed that great crash of episode 63 to happen. Oh, oh yeah. I also wanted to mention that I brought back the story progression mod. I've re-enabled it. I've re-added it um, to the house. Je Jesse, La Jesse, I didn't even realize that Jesse missed school today. So did Jesse and Lasagna both skip school today? I really didn't mean for that to happen. And Lasagna is making an F. Oh my God, we need to we need to get the kids on track. I didn't even realize what a mess was happening here with the kids. I didn't even know it was Monday. Uh, but yeah. Let's get this, let's get this going. I think I had so obsessed over um, earning, uh, oh, over getting Storm's portrait finished that I, it was, it was another like Seth in the hot tub moment. I was like hyper focused on something and I accidentally wrecked some of the kids discipline in my hysteria. So look, Storm and Kara Pistachio are finally besties. I'm glad for the longest time, uh, Storm had no relationship at all with Kara and it felt sad, um, but yeah. Uh, we're back at the house. I've turned story progression back on. Hmm. But now that I look at it, it looks like the game hasn't quite recognized yet that I did turn it back on. So let me save. It's been re-enabled. It's weird that, yeah, it seems like my game is, is strange about the enable disable options. Maybe I just don't fully understand how custom content works on the game because I use it so rarely. 
but it feels like I'll enable it or I'll disable it and it doesn't realize that I've disabled it. And now I'm like re-enabling it and it doesn't feel like it's understanding of re-enabling it. But we'll see, maybe it just takes an extra restart. Restart. <laughs> okay, we're back. I noticed that Autumn's back. I, and it's not even, I don't know what, why she got ripped out of work. That makes me wonder if that's what happened to Lasagna and Jesse. God damn, everything is so crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened just then, but Autumn got ripped out of work. I don't know if the game is going to think that she missed work or not. Let me see, can I tell her to go to work? Yeah, just go to work. And then, um, is anyone else missing work? Yeah, technically they are. Okay, well we're back. Story progression is turned back on. Everyone is still sick with the flu as per usual. And I think we're gonna just fingers crossed, hope things will be okay. Don't know what that was. Things are already acting weird since turning story progression back on. Let me make sure all of the settings are correct. I know, everyone is late for work because they got ripped out of work. It's like the game didn't remember they were at work, which is worrisome. <laughs> okay. Sweet, I think everyone's got story progression turned off and then we're hopefully only tracking people like we know and stuff. I'm gonna save one more time. And now I think we'll be able to hopefully resume like this is just a normal episode and we're just having a good time. <laughs> and we're just living out these next four days of Cara Pistachio's adult life, seeing if we're gonna have a second chance at getting her to the mayorhood or if she's gonna have to just reinvent more than just her appearance. So let's see. Oh, cool. Amber was promoted to restaurant till. That's perfect. Okay, actually, let's save that. <laughs> we save now, okay? I'm gonna like really be saving. Bitches be saving here on the Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. But yeah, that's great. So we got Amber immediately back to restaurant till after we sent her to work late. I'm glad that that didn't have too bad of an effect on her. Because things are so fucky, I'm gonna see if, since we're like at a, apparently in a brand new moment, um, Lasagna, just go to the bathroom. God, you guys need to do your homework. You need to do work. You need to get your grades up. Yikes. How are you doing at school? B plus, that's not too bad. Why does school look like that for you? That is looking weird. That, I don't like that. Why is that like this? Oh God, I'm worried about this. Hold on everybody. And it does seem like the, unfortunately, the jobs are the same as last time. Okay, I'm seeing some people who had the same issue. Let me see if there was a trick to this. Okay, yeah. It seems like that could be corruption. This is, guys, this is making me think that we run into too many issues with the story progression mod. I think it's, it's risky. So what I think I'm gonna do um, is go to the neighborhood view real quick. I'm gonna save the game one last time. I'm gonna hope that this is resolvable. And then I think Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to make the executive decision to stop the, the story progression mod. It has caused too much shit to happen. And I'm noticing online when I look this up that it's possibly a sign of corruption. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping we can just de-glitch this, this, this whole problem here. Um, and I'm gonna start off by, okay, let's go ahead and exit the game one more time. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I'm disabling custom content. God, I hope, they, I hope that the game's not too corrupted. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping, my, I'm just praying and hoping that this will fix the weird glitch schedule that Jesse and Lasagna have. And if, if they get unglitched, perfect. If they don't, I'm a little nervous. We'll have to see what's going on with it. I'm hoping that maybe an easy fix will be just sending them off to college. Uh, to just go ahead and expedite that, but then we might play a little bit without them because I don't want to, I, I don't know, because story progression is turned off now. Hey, lasagna's healthy again. It really feels like the lot is just still going while I'm not playing the game, but I think I'm just not paying good attention to what time it is. Okay, let's check. Whew. Okay, okay. I feel a little bit better now. So guys, I think this has been like distracting me. It's been making the game a little too stressful, I think. Um, I think that we are going to probably, cause I took the story progression mod back out of my game folder and that seems to get it back to normal from what I could tell. Um, so I think just, just because this is going to be such a long challenge, 
just because already the game on its own will potentially glitch. I don't think I'm gonna keep tempting my fate here and risking losing it all for the story progression mod. So I think that, oh yeah, Mint, of course Mint needs work today. I'm sorry, Mint. Um, I think I'm just gonna make the executive decision from this point onward to probably just not have the story progression mod going anymore. It was so much fun while it lasted. And maybe if we do a shorter challenge in The Sims 2 in the future, story progression, story progression will really come in handy. But I think it's just making the game too volatile, too scary. And we have too much to lose at this point. We're almost to generation five. And the idea of having to like go back and redo stuff at this point or like losing stuff, that makes me too scared and too sad. I want to see us this through, even if that means not being able to see what the spares do later. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do, say to myself and for all of us watching uh, the spares as we go, we'll kind of we'll, we'll do a case by case basis. Like obviously for this generation, I enjoyed Mint and Cara Pistachio enough and the family was still small enough that they got to just stay in the house and grow old with us. I think if we have Sims that we really love and enjoy and there's room, they can stay with us and we can grow them with us. Otherwise, if they're a flop like Madeline or we just simply don't have enough room like with Mint and, or with a, ah! God damn, oh my God. Uh, but like in the case of n us not having enough room, like with Midnight and Autumn, uh, I think unfortunately we'll just have to move them out. They'll be in the family bin, you know, just kind of existing. And then I truly do feel like if in the far future, we find ourselves wanting to return to The Sims 2 for a new different challenge or a new different series. We could always pick up one of the Astro Legacy spare families that we might've enjoyed uh, to use for a, a, ch a challenge or a series in the future or something. So I'm not promising that we do a spin-off for anyone in particular, but if there's someone we really love and we just don't get to hold on to, that's always an option. Oh my God, Amber was side-eyeing me just then. But yeah, I think for my own sanity, and so that we can have like a coherent story. I feel like the story progression glitches have really halted the story for a few episodes now. And um, I just want this game to last. So I do think it'll be better this way. So um, thank you so much. Can we get a round of applause for the story progression mod? She tried her best, but she nearly fucked the game just too hard. So we're, we're saying goodbye to the story progression mod. I appreciated her while she lasted. Um, is Madeline still old? Cool, yeah, so we got to still experience story progression for the entirety of like Gen 4. That's cool, we like that. That's cool, that's better than nothing. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we're just going back to a vanilla Sims game again because I can't take the heartache, I can't take the stress of having that mod on anymore. And I really need to get the kids' grades up. They're, they have been struggling. So I'm gonna start getting serious here. Let's get started, for realsies this time. <laughs> I can't believe it's like, I guess it's almost nighttime. Lasagna, is she very serious? No, she's extremely playful. Really, it makes more sense for Lasagna to have the uh, game system and for Jesse to have the uh, bookcase in their room because Jesse is way more serious than Lasagna is. She wants to be a lawyer, which go off queen, but also uh, I don't know how she's gonna achieve that with the grades she has. That's actually just gonna make it even funnier, I think. <laughs> somehow, somehow, Against all odds, Lasagna becomes a lawyer while she was an F student, a straight F student in, in high school. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Well, men, since you fucking skipped work today, everyone's so into playing poker constantly in this house. Oh, but actually Mint is like doing the ballet bar for no reason. It's the ballet bar is kind of a little bit of a life hack, I feel like for the fitness skill. They just do that autonomously all the time. I guess that it's kind of fun for them. Good for them. Kara likes Mint more when he dances. And I appreciate that. I'm still upset that we somehow lost the inherit money from Mint memory. I think Lasagna's got, like rode down the banister again. That was so funny. I'm kind of glad. I feel a little more at peace now that we know that we're just abandoning the story progression mod. I feel like the game might be a little bit more reliable now. At least I'm hoping. Um, obviously we're gonna save often still. But I feel a little safer now knowing that this is okay. Everyone in the house needs to go to the bathroom. Thank God I installed so many bathrooms in this house. What the hell is wrong with you guys? What, Mint, are you okay? Oh, he's just like, he needed to put the macaroni on the floor so he could say it smells yummy. Could you imagine your dad made like 80 servings of Easy Mac in a bowl and he's serving you guys, but before he even sets your plate down, 
he puts it on the floor so he can smell it and be like, it smells great. So then you have to get up and get a plate of it off of the floor. That just so sums up mint. I can't believe you were a restaurateur once yourself because it certainly doesn't seem like it. He has no decorum. He has no, he has no hospitable nature, this man. Storm wants to buy a sculpture costing at least $600. I think we could do that for her. It's a very modern sculpture, but we'll take it. I believe in you guys. I think now that we've got that mod uninstalled, I think we can really make some forward progress, okay? We're all gonna go to bed early. We're all gonna go to work and school tomorrow. It's gonna be good. I wanna redo uh, Storm's makeover too. We gave Storm a makeover in the uh, Cara Pistachio Redemption timeline. And I would like for that to be a thing again. So let me, I also kind of want to adjust. I want to tweak Jesse's look a little more again. I have not been able to settle on a look for Jesse quite yet because I feel like I'm not loving her outfit as much as I'm loving Cara Pistachio's outfit. And I want her to be as cute as Cara Pistachio. And then I want our little Stormy to look cute. And I think we should do the same for Amber too, honestly. Once you guys feel like it, I guess. Okay, so Storm first. First up is Storm. Um, I was think I liked what we did for Storm last time. I think we gave her this hair. She looks really elegant with her white hair. I'm a huge fan, huge fan of white hair Storm. She looks very cool. She's like Halle Berry Storm, <laughs> which is honestly her namesake, if we all recall. Love that, love that for her. Let's give her the eye mask. I like that. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. Let's give that for her, the eye mask for her PJs too. This is already a better timeline. <gasps> oh, the round glasses look kind of cute on her. Let's give her glasses. There she is, a little old lady storm. And then we'll give her a new uh, outfit too. That'll be great. I love it. I love it. I don't love the macaroni on the floor, Mint. You fucking idiot. I was like, Thinking about Mint and the fact that he changed to this uh, entertainment career. Oh, she looks so cute. She's such a cutie. Let's, I think we did agree. We did agree. What am I saying? I, I decided that I, I think she's doing an all white sort of look now in her old age. An angel, if you will. Um, so I was thinking more about how Mint is now in the entertainment career track and how he's a round table knight. And I kind of wanted to see what that meant exactly. Mint, uh huh. I think I have to keep Amber's maid headdress on, obviously, right? Like we can't take that away from her now. Let's still set her hair for every outfit though, and a hair for every occasion. Amber kind of has small eyes. Okay, okay, this is kind of classy. I like that. I didn't realize how straight across her eyebrows are. She has a furrowed brow. I can I can appreciate that. But it's, well, she is always in a bad mood. I guess that that fits. It fits. And if the boot fits. In her old age, I do think that Amber might might chronify, sort of like how Grizabella did. I don't see why not. This just feels natural. <laughs> and then the girls need to go to sleep after they... Well, lasagna is perfect the way she is. So I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed. And then um, I'm going to have Jesse do a little mini makeover as well. Because I'm just... I haven't quite landed on what I want Jesse to look like yet. I do know that she's our darkness queen, but this feels... I, yeah, it, it doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel Jesse to me. It just feels like too much. Unbelievably goth. And I want it to be more more fitting of her. Maybe I'll bring her curls, her curls back. Bring me back my curls. I think I still like the black lipstick. I think if we, if we, I want to keep the black lipstick because I think that works for her. She likes the new hair, I'm glad. But I think this outfit is just too on the nose. It's too on the nose for what I'm going for. I feel like I wanna I wanna mix it up a little bit. I don't want it to be so predictably goth. I feel like I want her to be more unique than that. We did get this outfit for her. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, I think I like this more. I think I like this more. Let's see. What do you think? Yeah, I like this better. It's classy, it's punk but it's not quite as over the top as it once was. She's gonna go check herself out in a different mirror. Maybe she thought the lighting wasn't the greatest in her room. Love how in love with herself she is so far. I love that for Jesse. That makes me so happy. Use more acne cream, why don't you? <laughs> Lasagna is just like laughing to herself in her room. Oh wait, no, I think she's watching TV. Like this, 
She's watching like a slice of her own television. Oh, Jesse, what are you doing? Oh, she's Jesse's just letting herself in to play video games. Did that not work, Jesse? Is it like too crowded? Wow, I love that Jesse came into Lasagna's room to dance this muscle and like block her view of the TV. She's like, what are you doing? And now she looks concerned. Our little Scorpio. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I need y'all to go to bed. It's 1 a.m. Oh my god. <laughs> They're not sleepy. There we go. Okay, Lasagna can go to sleep now, and I'm making Jesse at least relax in bed. And then. We've got Min's working on his charisma. We've It's now Tuesday. Let's see if there's, oh God, no, the computer's broken too. Okay, let's call the repairman. We do need someone to learn repairing skill. I love that Kara though is attending Min's like fake speech here. She's so supportive of him. She probably like really supports him being a knight at the round table too. Like that's so cool that my, my husband's a knight. Like she thinks he's a real knight. <laughs> I feel like we might need to we might need to paint a portrait of Cara Pistachio. Yeah, especially if she's like okay right now. Um, let's have Min scrap this painting and maybe paint a portrait of Cara. Calling Cara in to get a portrait of her. I think it's important to immortalize Cara Pistachio in this house because she's been a big part of the house. Oh my god, I love that she froze in this expression. I love that this is how we're gonna immortalize disgraced judge Cara Pistachio, mother to lasagna. Wife of Mint. Oh, she's such a queen. <laughs> she's still so in love with her husband after all these years. Ha so happy for her. We've trapped Amber though. That's not good. She's gonna get so upset when she's tired of skilling herself. Do y'all have work tomorrow? Okay, Amber does not, so that's good. Kara does not, obviously. Mint does, but who cares? You could just go into the, the mood of fire thing. So that's okay. And then Jesse, have you gone to bed yet? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, You're crazy. Oh, it's Storm. Storm's just playing pool in here by herself, thinking about making money. Good for her. What does she want to do? Oh, she wants to buy a tree. I'd love to buy her a tree. Let's do that. I love to treat my girl Storm to things. I I've been meaning to make out here a garden, but as you can see, the gardener hasn't done shit. I think, honestly, though, I think that that's going to get fixed now that we've taken off story progression because. Uh, story progression, I believe, was making it so that uh, every time we left the house, I feel like the gardener was gone. Like the gardener never got a chance to actually do their job because story progression was happening. So I'm hoping now that we won't like progress time without the gardener, without us being here at the lot, the gardener will actually do her fucking job. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is turning out great. Did Mint maximize his creativity skill? He did. Good for him. Let's save. Let's, that's a good, a good opportunity to save. Especially because I love how, how this portrait is coming out. Even at this point, if it's not finished and like it, that weird glitch happens again where we can't finish it, um, I'd even be happy with this because I think it still captures Cara Pistachio's essence. <laughs> oh, and speaking of which, we need to check the job listings today. I haven't checked it yet. Okay, keep going. I feel like I'm gonna need to move Amber out of the way soon, but it's fine. Okay, wake up you. You need to get ready for school. I do just, I do just must admit, I feel a lot safer now that I know story progression is turned back off. I know that it's sadder for the people who move out in the, the town around us, but I think it's really gonna help us out so much with how glitchy the game was being. It already feels a little safer. Okay, we just gotta make sure the kids go to school. That's all that we gotta do today for them. Glad no one's upset in this trio yet. Sweet, okay, she just maxed her cooking skill, which is great. I'm gonna see if I can, <laughs> Let's hopefully, hopefully this won't mess anything up, but I'm gonna see if I can just kind of move her over here so that she can get up safely because she needs to now switch to studying creativity. Okay, Jesse, I just saw Lasagna going off to school. Jesse's going off to school. Have a good one, gals. I hope you get your grades up today. Meanwhile, Storm is just observing her art. I love that. I love that for her. Oh, she's, she has to go to work soon too. Oh, and she's kind of sleepy. That's not good. Why don't you have some espresso? Oh, we're almost done. Mint, you're doing awesome. Up, the repairman's here, everybody. Let's give it up for Addison Johnston, here to hopefully actually repair our things. 
because a similar thing was happening, I guess, with the repairman that, to the gardener in that they were coming and not actually getting anything done. <laughs> Speaking of getting things done, we did it! Thank you so much, Mins. I really appreciate you doing that for us, buddy. Why don't you use this little mood thing? Just instant happiness there. And then I'm gonna put your, ah! I'm gonna put your wife's portrait up in Legacy Hall with the others. Okay, yeah, so one thing I was wanting to do today that I actually do think we could take a chance to do would be filling up the inventory with all this stuff. Maybe not the deeds. I think we'll have to keep the deeds probably in the pockets of whoever the heir is of the Astro Legacy House of the time. Uh, but I think that uh, we should take these portraits out to Grizabella grounds to build a mausoleum. And now that I know story progression is no longer on, I feel a little bit safer going out to that community lot to do that. And then Mins is going off to work. Sweet. Everyone's going off to their various occupations. Well, I'm glad the environment score is like, okay out here, despite all of the weeds. Okay, Jesse's doing extremely well in school. Lasagna's doing slightly better, but still has horrible grades. That's great. I think that we can work on that. <laughs> I also was curious if we have any like, oh, and you know what? I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm just so nervous about saving these days, you guys. Is the gardener, I think the gardener might come like every other day. I'm about to get someone in the house who's in a good mood to just work on those weeds because that is unsightly. That is so fucking ugly. I hate how ugly that is. <laughs> All right, let's see. Kids are home. I'm gonna have them work on their homework almost immediately, I think. Amber's got the logic skill she needs, so all she has left is one creativity skill point to go. I'm gonna have her make lunch for the family since she also has like maximum cooking skill points like mint. Can they work on their homework together? I feel like they can, let me see. They're not only to join. Maybe, is that, am I thinking of The Sims 3 again? I might be thinking of The Sims 3 again, that you can do your homework together. Lasagna wants to obtain a pet. Get well soon. And I feel like I'd be willing to get her, and I'm, I'm not going back on my no cats or dog policy, but I was wondering if there was a pet that we could get that's like <laughs> like the bird. Or what if I got her the a wom rat? I think that could be kind of funny. Like, don't you think it, she would have a wom rat? What if I move this? Give her a warm rat cage. <laughs> and then um, her room is too small, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm moving the TV back into Jessie's room because there's just more room in there and they can like hang out in Jessie's room if they need to. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting her a warm rat to see if that actually... Yes, I think, no, that didn't count. I guess that didn't count. Oh, she might have to stock the cage. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, Kara's doing good now. Let's get her looking at the job listings to see if we're gonna get a chance or if we're gonna need to really consider, oh God, there's books everywhere. If we're gonna have to really consider uh, maybe changing her aspiration here before she turns into an elder. Education, moment of truth here. Slacker, science, law enforcement. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, not today. That's a shame. <laughs> I thought I told Amber, oh no, no. I didn't tell Amber to do anything. She's just gonna play some pool now. She looks good like that. I feel like if we could get a different color of that dress, it would suit her even better, but I don't mind the black and white thing she's doing right now. Did you finish your homework, Jessie? She might've. I don't think Lasagna did. <laughs> Lasagna's just like her dad, God. No, I think Jessie might have done her homework, but she's doing good at school in general. Unlike Lasagna, who's just like her father. <laughs> Storm's various girls are like, why aren't you calling me anymore? It's because Storm had like a late in life decision where she wanted to all of a sudden have a good reputation. So it's like she just never called those gals back. She ghosted them. They got too attached and she ghosted. Classic Libra move. Okay, Amber, if you're feeling good enough to play pool, why don't you go over here and sink a ball into the hole of creativity skill. Kara just wants to get a job. Poor thing. Oh, I wanted to check and see if anyone had secondary or aspiration benefits in general. Yeah, for Amber, I'm gonna get her the career card one just because that can have such devastating consequences and she's so close to the end. For Kara, she's got nothing, so we can't get her anything. We could roll the secondary aspiration for Jesse and Lasagna, why not? 
Let me get the RNG calculator thing out real quick. All right, for our heiress, our Scorpio heiress, Jessie, let me generate a random number between one and six, and we'll go in a clockwise direction to determine what her secondary aspiration is. And we got five. One, two, three, four, five. Popularity. Okay, so we've got a Scorpio who is romance with a minor in popularity. I love that for her. I think that's extremely funny. Since her lifetime goal is to do the 20 lovers, I'm gonna start climbing up the romance tree for her so that she could eventually get to smooth talk and I think that'll help her later. So lasagna, let's get yours now. One, pleasure. Okay, so she is a popularity pleasure sim. They're gonna do great in college. What is the pleasure stuff? Let's see. Sometimes, let's see. While some boring wallflowers may accuse you of having a midlife crisis, you're too busy being the life of the party to care. Okay, that's just the fact that she got it here. Um, fast metabolism. You burn off fat much faster than normal sins. That's hilarious. Slower motive decay of bladder and energy and right restaurant guide. This interaction available on any computer lets you turn your food enthusiasm and cooking skill into guides that can be sold to a publisher. So that would benefit her to still learn cooking, even though she has a weird daddy issue where she's turned off by the cooking skill. It'll still in a way benefit her to learn cooking like her father before her. Very interesting, very interesting stuff. Okay, I love that. Cool, so we're having Amber work on her last skill because she's a restaurateur and she's very close to her lifetime goal. Kara, we have not had the luck of the draw yet with her job rolling and that's so upsetting because in that timeline of that previous flopped episode, she got her job back and was well on her way and then I lost it in a horrific, I forgot to save accident. So I'm really upset about that still. Um, and I'm still thinking that if she doesn't find the job by the end of her adult lifespan, we're gonna try re-rolling her aspiration to see if we can get something non-job related uh, so that she can have a chance at lifetime happiness still. But we'll see how that goes. We're still, we're still leaving it up to chance. She's still got like three days left. Three days! And then Jesse and um, Lasagna are still just working their way through their teenage lifespan, trying to get their skills and their grades up and stuff. Might have Lasagna join Jesse at the pool table with Storm. Cool. Yeah, Storm continually wants to have a good reputation, so whatever. <laughs> I'm like locking that in for her. Yeah, she just needs to interact nicely with other people. Fair enough. I guess that's kind of Libran of her that she just like wants to have a good reputation amongst her peers and be liked and not cause strife and drama. <laughs> <laughs> They're thinking hard about their next moves. <clears throat> Lasagna is so funny looking. Okay, there's only two days left before Kara's birthday. She has two days left to figure out her shit. I hope she can do it. Lasagna, once you have a better mood on, I'm gonna tell you to go do your goddamn homework because it's still not done, sister. Does she still have that obtain a, a pet want too? Yeah, let's have her run upstairs because she needs to buy a wombat. Look at how fast she's running. Oh, she stopped when she got upstairs. And then we're gonna have her do her homework. Ooh, let's get her the albino one. Uh, let's call him Pinky. How cute. She has an albino womp rat. But did that not count as obtain a pet? Are you serious? Oh my God, that only counts towards dogs and cats. Now I just have a womp rat and it didn't even help anything. Get well, well soon. We haven't ever had one before, so this is an Astro Legacy first, I guess. A Womp Rat. It's pretty cute. It doesn't look super happy in its gauge, though. <laughs> I hope in previous iterations of The Sims, these guinea pigs could cause disease, so I wouldn't be surprised if that stupid guinea pig or womp rat it potentially makes her sick. If that is the case, I would have to get rid of it. <laughs> Jesse, you just punching your mom? Oh my god, she got so mad in that play fight at Jesse, she walked off. She was like, fuck you! <laughs> that was funny. I was just playing, mom. Where did Storm go? Oh my god, she went she went to bed. She's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I love her. Storm's always just she knows what she's about. <laughs> oh my god, Kara is fucking serenading Mint. She has never been more in love with Mint than right now. That's too funny. It's probably because she thinks he's a knight. I think tomorrow I would love... God, they're still so in love with each other. Even more so than like 
Storm and Amber are. That's so funny. They're just, their romance is alive and well, and I'm happy for them. That, that's the case. <laughs> It's all, it's nighttime, guys. I think it might be a good time to go to sleep. Oh, look, Lasagna's playing with her womp rat. Oh my god, she's so funny. Be careful with that. Oh my god, it's very cute. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't satisfy her wants to fucking have a, ch have a child. <laughs> Mint is just up alone now, drinking. It's so funny. He has a desire to get fit, so I kind of want to, I'm going to have him go over here and work out. He should probably use the punching bag that we got. That's how Kara got back into shape after she fell from grace. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that Mint was like overweight. He doesn't look that way. He doesn't look big at all. The Sims do though, a like scale for overweight is weird. Like the overweight Sims don't look overweight at all. <laughs> it's snowing outside. It's winter time here at the Astro Legacy lot. Oh, Amber, I should have you plan your outfits better. Oh, they still think each other's so hot. I love that. Can we plan your PJs? And plan your undies. For your PJs, let's give you something more like that. I should have gotten her the robe, is the thing. You awake, Jesse? Yep. Oh, it's because Lasagna came in and played video games at 1 a.m. Lasagna, who do you think you are? Okay, Kara is almost slept up, and we'll be able to check the job listing soon, too. She has a lot of charisma and creativity points, so, like, if she does end up rerolling her aspirations, it might help if it's something charisma or creativity related, I guess? Oh my god, Jesse burnt the shit out of the spaghetti. That's too funny, oh my god. <laughs> okay, moving right along. We're having Kara Pistachio check the job listings one more time here. This poor lady. What are you guys doing? Are you all going to look and see that it's snowing outside? In the same exact spot Kara's trying to go look for jobs? Figures. Oh, they're looking out this window, that's funny. <laughs> why don't you go make a snow angel? And why don't you go make a snowman? Have fun out there, kids. How cute. Look at him go. It's winter time. Oh my god, the politics! <gasps> We're taking it. Okay, let's save. Okay, that's pretty exciting. What sucks is Kara... Well, no, 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 no. If she's, if she's already there, she'll be kind of like Mint is doing right now. She'll already be in the track. And I think that she should be able to still work on her career track from now. Uh, so I think we're we're back on track, you guys. I think we we're gonna we're gonna get her there. Lasagna, go make a snow angel over here. That looks cute, Jesse. Good job. Oh, I'm so excited for you, Kara. Okay, she got her job back. She's gonna go to sleep now. That's fair. The, um, wait, why? She's just gonna go relax in bed. That's stupid. You want to gain a skill point, so why don't you gain a logic skill point for work, just in case. And then Jesse. Taking a shower, getting kind of ready for school. Lasagna. You should come inside and eat something so that you can get ready for school too. Eat the burnt spaghetti that your cousin made. <laughs> of course, Storm is just like playing poker again. They love this poker table. Lasagna's swimming right now? Why is Lasagna swimming right now? I don't think I told her to do that. Lasagna? Oh, what she... Did you, did you insist on swimming over here? That's ridiculous. Is it cause like this is in the way or something? Oh my God, that was ridiculous. <laughs> is she all freezing now? Yes, yes she is. In fact, it is winter time. Maybe we should light the fireplace. Oh my God, is there not, are you telling me there might not be, oh my God, is there not roof on this? Hold on. <laughs> there's not, of course there's not. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> let me fix that. <laughs> okay. So I had to go in and like, it, it was stupid how I had to fix this. So I went in and I took out one of the windows in Kara's room and I made this, these little boxes go up higher because it was impossible to like cover them otherwise. But it, it actually ended up pretty okay. Pretty okay. I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, I like that I can add that too to it. So I think that's good. Okay, the whole point of this was though to light a fire in the fireplace. But I was also thinking of maybe getting us 
a smoke detector for this room just in case the it goes south as things tend to do. Okay, let's have Kara, who now is back in where she needs to be. I'm gonna have her light a fire so that her daughter can warm back up after swimming out in the snowstorm. Well, with Kara back where she needs to be in politics and hopefully on her way up, I think then we could play to until Kara grows up into an elder and then call it there. I think that'll be perfect. But Kara thinks, you think that Jesse's crazy for dancing, Kara? What are you, too good for dancing all of a sudden, Kara? What are you, the little town from Footloose that outlawed dancing? What's your deal? Don't be a jerk now that you're back in politics and you're making a redemption. God, judgy much. She's still playing that SSX tournament she started hours ago. Okay, lasagna, since you're feeling you're you're feeling okay, let's have you come in here and sit in the room that the light not the light, the chimney is whatever. Snow day! Oh yay! It's a snow day! It's been snowing so much that school is closed today. Oh that's awesome. I love that. And then Carrie's carpool's coming in an hour. That's awesome! Oh I love that it's a snow day. Good for the kids. Come warm yourself here at the fire. Lasagna pistachio. Everyone's laughing at Jessie for dancing. She's doing her best. And she's excited that it's snow day today. Okay, Lasagna warmed herself up a little bit. <laughs> and I'm glad that they both got their homework done already. So they can really just relax during today's snow day. I love that for her. For them! Okay, and then Amber, do you have work today? No, no work for Amber today. Amber and Kara look really similar now that Amber has white hair and Kara has platinum blonde hair. Kara, go to work. We want you to get as many promotions as you possibly can. You go, girl. We're so happy for you, Kara. Congrats being back in the politics career for realsies this time. In fact, as she leaves, I'm gonna save again. Someone, I'm gonna make someone clean up all those weeds. That is so atrocious. So ugly. <laughs> so nasty and so rude. Oh good, the gardener's finally here. I hope Kenya's able to get some work actually done. Oh my God. Amber, are you gonna win this or not? I think when Storm gets back from work today, I'd like for us all to go to Grizabella Grounds and uh, take the portraits and stuff and see if we can do a little makeover to Grizabella Grounds. I think that sounds kind of cool. Does Amber have work? She has work tomorrow. Did she finally finish the gaming competition? Did she not? I'm guessing she didn't win the gaming competition then. What a waste. What a waste of everyone's time. Thanks a lot, Amber. Let's take a shower and um, with your waning mood, let's have you study creativity at least. Okay, here we go. I don't think we've gotten care of the fucking opportunity card thing yet. <sighs> Those state assembly members are not up for re-election in the upcoming elections. Members of Congress are, and Kara's local district doesn't have yet many strong or seasoned candidates on the ballot. Should she run for Congress or take her popularity and back another candidate of the same party affiliation? I think we should this time because in the past we tried running and I feel like it didn't work out well. And I do feel like in this new humble version of Kara, we would lend support instead of run ourselves. So let's just hope to God this is okay. She sends her minions out to dig up every bit of dirt they can on all the opponents. And in a short time, they have produced such allegations as misconduct, racism, negligence, and poor hygiene against each and every member of the opposition. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. It looks like the Karis, it looks like with Kara's support, the election is gonna be a lock, regardless of whether any unmarred candidates even dare to throw their hats into Kara's mudslinging French trenches. In gratitude, Kara receives 30,000 simoleons by way of a completely legal redirection of campaign financing. Okay, so hilarious. I think that that was good. Good for us. I'm gonna save really quick since something happened and we save here. I'm glad that she was not the recipient of the racism allegations this time. She's really come a long way. I'd like to use that 30K for uh, redoing Grizabella grounds. That actually sounds good to me. So we'll do that when Storm gets home today. Okay, Amber got her creativity point. She is done with that. So the next time she goes to work, she will hopefully get closer to a promotion because she's not quite all the way there yet. And then Mince, what are you up to? He's out here just like playing instruments and shit. He wants to play with Felix and see a wolf and sell a great novel and all this other stuff. Let's have him paint something since he keeps wanting to paint a masterpiece. It's too bad. Do you not recognize Jessie as a relative? She does. She wants to play with a relative. Let's play red hands with, with Jessie. That might make that happen. So I need her aspiration to go up since that fucking womp rat didn't do anything. Good, okay, this is re-rolling everything. She wants to buy a game costing $3,000 and have a pillow fight. 
Uh, you're all all clean, huh? Even though we've got this rotting omelets out here. Don't think th don't think things are really all clean, Andrea. But I do think we could get us a game that's costing at least three thousand dollars. Let me see. The problem is, what defines a game in in this game? I'm putting a, a spa in the pool house because why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's see if that worked. That, nope, it did not. It did not count. The sauna did not count as a game. It's of course, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Is that, I wanna, hold on, I wanna watch the gardener. Is she doing anything? Okay, she she's working her way down every hedge. That's what's going on with the gardener. Good, we need an army. We need a village to take care of this, God. Okay, so we need a game that costs $3,000. It, can we get like a arcade machine? That's not even three thousand dollars. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Get well, get well soon. soon. I hate. I hate. We don't have enough room for a bowling alley. God damn. We're not doing that. Lasagna. She has some stupid wands. Hey, you like that sauna? Up, oh, she's gonna use it. Oh, look how cute her outfit is for the for the sauna. It's extremely cute. I love it. Oh my god, look at her. She wants to influence someone to garden, and I love that because we really do need someone to garden. Uh, our gardening is out of control. I'm gonna have her go out to the front yard and see if anyone will pass by the house that we can influence to garden. Ah, Kara didn't get promoted? That sucks. I'm locking in that she wants a promotion. Oh wait, there's a stranger outside. Tazama, Tazama Scott, hold on. Come down to greet Tazama. We're gonna influence him to garden. Because we need an army to take care of our weeds here. Okay, Tazama, hi. Influence to garden. Will you please garden? We need help. Storm brought home a friend from work today. That's cool. Who is that? He looks neat. Ooh, who is this? Renald? Renel? Renald? Kudelo? Cool, I'm so glad we got some people working on our... In fact, can you actually get Renell to do that too? Can we influence him to garden as well, actually? We need people working on our gardening. Hey, Renell, we need people working on our gardens. <laughs> I love using our influence for good. Kara will grow up in just one day at 6 p.m. It's time to throw a birthday party. I guess we should do that for her. Does she want to throw a birthday party? She doesn't have the want to, but I think we should throw one for sure. All right, the guests are all invited and some people aren't showing up because they're killjoys and that's okay, we don't care. Um, let's see, we got everyone working on their moods right now. Everyone's a little sleepy, but that's okay. Um, Jesse, why don't you go take a shower? Get ready for this party. Oh, Mint is still working on his masterpiece, I see. That's funny. It's a bit late. Okay, the gardener has given up, but it's okay because we've got other other people trying to work on the garden. The, like, I think we've still got Renel working. Well, no, Tazam is still working. And then where is Renel? I'm hoping he's working on the gardening somewhere. But anyway, let's get this party started. Got to get a birthday cake out for Kara. One thing I'm also glad that we won't miss anymore is a birthday party. Now that story progression is turned back off. Let's get a keg for her party. And you know what? I am actually, I am going to remember this time. We are going to get some fireworks out here because baby, Kara is a firework and we need to, we need. I think we can have the teenagers light off the fireworks. In fact, let's have them do that first. Light the sparkler, pull some party poppers. But y'all are gonna get so cold, but we need to have some fireworks for Kara's party. This is for your mom, Lasagna. Yahoo! Sparkler for Kara Pistachio's party, woohoo! Love it! Light a sparkler. Yahoo! How fun, I love that. Okay, Kara, why don't you go ahead and blow out the candles? We'll have the kids stop with the sparklers. I see, Bel is Belphegor old yet? No, Belphegor's still young, so Belphegor gets to stay young. She, she escaped the specter of aging from the story progression, before story progression got turned off. So that's extremely funny. Gretchen also gets to stay young too. That's extremely funny too. Oh, stop painting. Come see your wife grow up. Mint. It's been so long since we've gotten to see a birthday cinematic. 
So I'm happy that we're, we're back and seeing an actual birthday, not missing another birthday. And this time it's our beloved Kara Pistachio. What are you wishing for, Kara? Prosperity? Hopefully getting to be mayor in your old age. That's our goal. Look how many people love Kara Pistachio. We're all here for her tonight. Oh, look at her. Oh, she even grew up into like a mayor's outfit. She's ready. She French braided her hair back and she's ready for business. I just love her. Okay, who should we age with Kara? Let's age up Kana. Let's age up that girl that I thought was a guard gardener. Let's advise, let's age up Marissa. Okay, so we got some other people aging up with her. Good job, Kara. Congratulations on your elderhood. Can we get a happy birthday, Kara? In the comments below. Kana just grew up too to try to steal Kara's thunder. Not that if that not that she ever could, honestly. Tuh. Yay! Well go go team, go family. Let's have Mint serve up some nectar for the party. And then what I'd like to do is finish up this party. And then before we end today, I would like to go over to Grizabella Grounds and kind of give it a little revamp before ending the episode. I want to take all of the portraits over there and I want to arrange the graves in a nice way. And uh, just like, well, I don't know. Do we make that next, next week's episode? Do we come back next week to do it perhaps? Hmm. I'm really not sure. Maybe so. Maybe next week's episode, we revamp Grizabella Grounds and open up a new restaurant there that Mint and Amber own, perhaps? And then we send the kids off to college before we do our college episodes. Kara, you look great. I honestly don't feel like Kara even needs a, like, a makeover. I think she's perfect the way that she is. So I think I'm just gonna keep her this way. She does, this is one of the first times we haven't needed to give someone a makeover. Uh, other than Mint, of course. Mint and Kara just know what they're about. Cool, it's a good time. I'm so happy. Got lasagna drinking directly from the tab. You go, queen. <laughs> I love lasagna. <laughs> oh my god, the cops are breaking this up. Guys, as if, like, how we do every single party. Is he gonna just get back in? No, he's gonna come in and break this up, isn't he? Well, guys, you know what? With the cops here breaking up our birthday party, maybe this is where we'll break up the episode as well. I think next episode we can go to Grizabella Grounds, take all the portraits over there, arrange everything. The final score of the episode was a good time. We saved as much as we were supposed to. Um, we also got Cara Pistachio her desired promotion back, which I'm so proud. Uh, we got Jesse and Lasagna a little bit closer to their college age. We got their grades back up and we de-glitched them. Thank God. Oh, hold on. Jesse, you're not in the right bed. In fact, let me save. <laughs> I think there's a lot that can be done next episode. And that includes having Kara Pistachio and Amber continue going to work and getting promotions alongside sending our kids to college. And I think that's it. Um, so yeah, I think that this is where I will leave you guys this week. Oh God, I'm so glad that we got a little bit of progress done actually this episode. <laughs> I think next episode will be good. And um, if you guys like this episode, be sure to give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do new episodes of This Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge every Sim Monday. We also have new episodes of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories currently coming out on Kingdom Hearts Wednesdays where me and my co-host Seth are working our way through every Kingdom Hearts game in story order. So I will see you guys then. Goodbye. Ew. She can't even close her eyes all the way when she sleeps. This queen.